A pocket full of props, quick pound and a handshake. A free mixtape, a highway through a landscape. As far from the Bronx as heaven is. Moment of uncertainty, moment of clarity, and a moment of hesitance. A bio with a spark of truth, a couple sharpies, party music, and the Carter too. Lab cap in California, Illmatic, and headshots. A couple handbills left in the back of a rest stopper. Rhymba can stick it with my name on it. Stick it through the rain, washing all the other flies down. Hoodie up, fitted to the side bottle, water last minute to the side. Set list, rep this, living for the rhyme. But most of what that rhyme represents. 45 minutes of our lives to connect. Broken hearts over break beats, live and direct from the belly of the beat. He's striving to get free. Um, the invisible backpacker of privilege or confessions of a white rapper. One, KRS-One says there are nine elements of hip hop. A solar system of art and fashion and innovation orbiting an inferno. Some promoters will book me over a black MC because they don't want to attract the wrong element. Two, it's easier for me to get a buzz going because most bloggers, um, videographers, uh, g you know, music journalists, booking people, at least around here, are white. And I don't even necessarily identify as Caucasian, right? I'm mixed, but that usually doesn't fit on the flyer. Three, listeners who are often white and identify with me because of it actively seek out meaning in my music rather than just looking for a good beat to dance to. And I will readily admit that I am very, very talented, but... Is that talent the reason you bought my CD? Is that talent the reason you came to my show? Is that talent the reason I got this interview? I will never know for. I can code switch on a dime. Um, we developed warp technology years ago and we'll leave this solar system as soon as we find a more fashionable one five. My music can be perceived as rebellious because it's hip hop but safe because of my skin. Fans and listeners get to engage with an oppositional culture without ever leaving their racialized comfort zones. Tarzan is the king of the jungle. Tom Cruise is the last samurai. Michael J. Fox goes back in time and invents rock and roll in 1955. Six. The thing about Steve feeling is that it is addictive, <laughs> like a little here, a little more, and we all know it is not wrong to steal to feed your starving family, and white kids in America are hungry. <laughs> Whose food are they eating? Whose food are you eating? Whose food am I eating? <laughs> Seven. So yeah, um, maybe white people don't really belong in hip hop but white people don't really belong in America, if you think about it, so we are left with, with questions. Regardless, we are left with questions, right? Like, what is the difference between acknowledging your privilege and doing something with that acknowledgement? How do we define progress? How do we move forward? Who is we? Who should be we? Who deserves to belong in the category we? Eight, when I say one small step for man, you say one giant leap for mankind. Just remember whose planet you're standing on. Nine, the code of the white rapper, if there ever was one, is this. Know the history, build community, put people on. And if they ever make you a monument, scratch your name out, break it, spit on it, burn it. We are not tourists, but we are also not the native inhabitants of this land. Aliens, invaders, put your hands up. Put your fucking hands up.